Hey guys, Pro Drains here. Wanted to show you the zip drain tool and show you it in action. Been getting a lot of feedback since wet. What we have here is the zip drain cleanout tool. You're able to open up a pressurized cleanout full of water and sewage uh, without any mess. Simply drills out the cleanout cap, controls flow here through the shutoff. It has tubing to connect into a bucket where you're able to pump it back in when you're done. Uh, control all flow, no mess three four and six inch attachments uh, they do have gaskets inside so you're able to fit different sizes uh, whether it's cast iron pvc what have you what we have here is the jetter attachment so you're able to jet from inside the building um, again mess free controlling all flow through the shutoff they have attachments for uh, toilet flange uh, to make your connection you can connect this to here uh, to a kitchen sink very easy, mess free, uh, definitely a tool that every drain cleaner should have in their van. I put the bit together a brief little demo with uh, some scrap pipe around the shop. Just to show you, I'm gonna attach it to the clean out here uh, and just show you how it opens it up and controls the flow. Very cool tool, definitely check them out. Uh, zip drain, zipdrain.com. Contact uh, Rico over there, he's a great guy. But let me show you how it goes. So we're gonna be attaching to a four inch clean out. So we're gonna need the four inch attachment and a 5 16 nut driver. As you can see here, it's gonna attach right onto the clean out. Simply slides over. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your cap is centered here so that you're able to drill it out. Nut driver to attach. Nice and tight on there. You're then going to grab the body. You're going to want to make sure that there is a gasket inside of it here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Again, you want the hole saw to go through the middle, right onto the uh, clean out cap. You're going to attach your body by simply connecting and clipping over here on the sides. They have a bungee strap that is meant to come around and help you secure um, the tool if you feel you need uh, you need it. So that's all you need to get it set up. Very simple. Right here, you're going to want to make sure it is tight. Um, they do have a kit that it comes with with all the different attachments, uh, the grommets. Uh, whatever you need. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's tight so that you can get your drill on there and uh, begin spinning and uh, take out the clean out cap here. Once we uh, get into the clean out cap, again, you're figuring you have a pressurized line, the flow is gonna come into here and then you're able to control the flow here with the shut off. Again, you can add the tubing on the bottom to control it into a bucket what have you, whatever you need. Again, just simply connect on. And then when you're done, after you cleared the line, if you wanted to, you could hook up your pump and pump it right back down uh, into the septic or the sewer, or you can drag the buckets out. <laughs> but anyway, that's what you, you need. You're gonna grab your drill. Simply attach. Again, you want to make sure everything is secured on there properly. You want that centered on the cap. You're going to want your shut off 